friends on YouTube. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys today about my web pack. This is a review of this brand of unit I bought uh, last year. Uh, it's good uh, for the price. I know I had a single issue with this unit. I had a, a smaller one uh, kind of blew that one up, <laughs> the motor one on it, but that's typically what happens when you use these type of units for sucking up water. That's what this is designed for. This is, can be designed for dry and wet use, and this also has a top, is a, a leaf blow as well. That's a, a good uh, sample uh, for this unit as well. Uh, this has a 16 gallon uh, container to hold a lot of dirt and water and it uh, 60.5 large and it has 6.5 horsepower uh, in the motor itself. I go with the bigger capacity instead of the smaller capacity uh, units and I also go with the uh, larger hoses because you don't get clogged as much as the small ones. Yes, uh, these can also get somewhat clogged too if you're picking up uh, way too much uh, debris at the same time. Now, the reason why I mostly bought this was to use it down uh, in the garage when I need to vac clean the garage because the garage is kind of a mess again. It needs to be vac cleaned. Now, uh, you can't use a regular vac cleaner. You could if you want, but downhill for a garage, it doesn't quite uh, work. Now, this does have all sorts of decent uh, attachments you can actually use. And this actually has a very good twin feet uh, built in uh, extension cord. Uh, it's very long, but it's not long enough what you actually need to do because it will do certain small areas of where you're actual at. A very good uh, build quality. Uh, made in the USA. I really love the unit. Now, the biggest concern I have with this unit. And it's pretty loud. I mean, trust me, that thing is loud. It's good. It's kind of duffing, but not too much. Well, let's talk about the attachments here. Uh, these different attachments, like you got this small uh, attachment for the larger uh, hose that comes down to a small. And this is a good attachment here to suck up and give the uh, thing more horsepower uh, to suck up more leads, I guess. And we got some hoses, attachments, we got some tubes. And we got this as you can use for your car, you know, like back when you car out. And then we got this one. This is called the floor uh, back when you know, it has a larger uh, diameter size here for you can back clean uh, your floors easier. And this does have a storage on the back for your tools. And we also have this uh, little one here is the corner size uh, function as well. Now let's go ahead and uh, flip this around and I'll actually show you where the thing is stored up. We have everything thing that's stored here on the back of the unit. And we can actually wrap the cord around it and actually store it up. Now the only biggest problem with the wet back is the hose you actually have to store the hose on the inside of the wet back itself. Now, this uh, hose does come off. It unscrews by the way. Or you can actually change it if you want to, in case if you have a broken hose or something. This does have a bag and a filter with it, but I'm using the filter bolt. But it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice unit uh, for its size. Now, the top head is what I really loved most of this wet bag itself. Uh, it can, I can use it. It's a leaf blow. That's the one thing I really, really love about this unit. Now, uh, we do have a non filter on this uh, unit itself. It actually has two filters. It has the main filter in here, and we also have a secondary filter that goes to the motor. I will have to take these three screws out and mostly actually clean out uh, the filter on the wet back motor itself. Now, this is uh, very heavy and very uh, robust uh, for anybody who can use it. Very simple to use. It's not hard at all. It has 
has very good castles uh, on the bottom, the you know, plaques of castles uh, on the unit itself. We do have good uh, good support blades on it. Now, I don't recommend showing this around or slamming it into uh, walls and stuff because it's only made out of plastic. It's, it's uh, dent uh, free, but it can stew, it can stew very, very easily. And, and the one thing you can also scratch very easily too because it's just uh, plastic. And we are on the bottom, we also have this big opening uh, for a drain valve on the bottom if you want to let the water out of your wet vac. Now, biggest uh, problem with these units is if you're going to be using this for water, you've got to make sure you take your filter out because if you don't take your filter out, uh, you can damage the filter itself completely. And your filter can uh, get way too wet and it doesn't want to uh, work right like it's supposed to. And trust me, I've done, and I've done that a couple of times too uh, on my old one. Uh, we got to take the filter out. Now, this one here holds about 16 gallons of water and debris inside. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the top off and show you guys what the top looks like. We're going to take the motor off because the motor weighs more than anything. But we actually got a very nicely uh, construction with this unit itself. It's very nice, guys. I really like it. You guys can see. <laughs> you guys can see I have used it a, a bit as well for downhill. This is, uh, is kind of heavy, too. We're going to set this right over here, and we're going to show you, that's how big the gallon bucket is on this uh, wet dock itself. Good quality made, I really, I really love it guys, I really love a good quality made machine. I do not like any crappy uh, machines, this is a good quality one. Now, uh, how much did I pay for this? Um, Oh, that wasn't cheap, I'll tell you that. Oh, the money of this thing? Holy, it's pretty expensive, guys. But we're going to demonstrate on how easy this little wet vac uh, can be. You can use the hose, okay, to suck up certain things on the ground, or you can also use the attachments as well for. Now, be about one. This is going to be a little loud. I'm going to find a spot to somewhat clean up on the side of over here. We're just going to clean this area and show you on how powerful this thing is. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and show you. It's not that loud, but it's to use it as a leaf blow, you can also do that as well. 
You can just take this off, push the on button, you can put one of your nozzles on the end of the hill, and you can just stop blowing your leaves around. And that's also what's kind of good about it too. It's like, we can just uh, blow stuff with the uh, leaf blow. And the one thing I kind of, nah, kind of don't really like about it is the tubes. I eventually do get stuck on it uh, for a very long time because, of, like I said, they're all plastic. And that's this kind of cool. I really like this unit. A very good system, a well, well built unit, a very, uh, you know, long ass cord, you know, 20 feet long. Eh, it's not too loud. I do take care of it. You know, I do clean it out. I do uh, buy ill filters uh, for when I need to buy certain things for. Now, the ill filters uh, are not that expensive. I can buy the bags or I can buy the ill filters itself. And we're going to go take a look and see how much debris we actually picked up with this unit itself. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it's wonderful guys, I really love this uh, wet vacuum. So we're going to go ahead and, oh yeah, we picked up a good amount of debris in here guys. And that's just from using it, and it really does uh, suck uh, very good for cleaning your garage, your workshop, and also if you want to use this uh, for your saws or table saws or whatever, this would actually do the job. Now the circuit bottle, okay, you gotta make sure you take the filter out and it will also do that as well. Alright, this is mostly my review of my shop vac, uh, vac cleaner itself for the garage and I will do more of the uh, different attachments and different uh, leaf blowing kind of things uh, outside. Alright guys, if you are doing the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, well, we see you in the next vlog.